Hello friends, this is Yujang. I have a question. Have you tried coloring books before? I ask because a lot of the times we mistake coloring books as a form of art therapy. So today I'm going to share about what coloring books are and if they are a form of art therapy and actually go over what is really art therapy from the perspective of an art therapist. Adult coloring books have been around for a while and it's actually started before um, 20th century and recently in 2013 and 2015 around that time um, the popularity of adult coloring books have kind of really increased and exploded again. There might be several reasons for that, but I think there are certain things, aspects about color books that make it really awesome. The first thing that I think makes them awesome is that it really gives you structure and um, makes it easy for us to engage in art making in some way or form. And so since it is already kind of drawn out, the structure is there, it's just we have to color inside the lines. So it does have to work for us <laughs> and making it easy for people to engage in art even if they feel like they are not good in art or they don't feel confident about making a drawing or doing some kind of art making. So it really reduces our anxiety about our ability to create and allows us to easily jump into something creative. And also coloring books can be very calming and it has a self-soothing effect on us. It's very grounding for us when we engage in coloring. Um, and that's why I think a lot of people feel like it is therapeutic. And since we feel it is therapeutic and relaxing, we sometimes say coloring books are art therapy or we use art therapy, the word art therapy to uh, mean coloring books. And this is the same kind of logic when we say um, we are doing retail therapy, when we go shopping for things or we say we are having nature therapy when we go hiking on a trail. So I understand why we can use the word art therapy to uh, say or to mean coloring books. But the question is, are coloring books really a form of art therapy? And I think that when people don't know what art therapy really is, it gets really easy to confuse art therapy and coloring books or just painting or whatever art material that we use. <laughs> so I want to go over the definition of what art therapy really is so we can really dive into why coloring books are not art therapy. So if you look into the origin of that word art therapy, um, it actually began in the 1940s and I want to share this history a little bit just because it can kind of really reveal to you what art therapy really is. So that word actually started in the 1940s um, and it was coined in the writings of Adrian Hill who was an artist in England and this person actually helped people um, helped patients in a hospital who were dealing with illnesses um, heal through painting and making art. And during that time, the 40s, actually art therapy as a distinct concept, as a distinct field and profession kind of came into being during that time. So graduate programs in art therapy were started, um, art therapists were um, studying art therapy and helping clients through their work and people were writing about what art therapy is, how art therapists can help clients and certain people in certain situations. So a lot of times the writing and the study really revolved around helping people who were dealing with illnesses or mental illnesses. So basically, art therapy is a distinct practice and a distinct profession that really is talking about 
art, an art therapist and a client and the work that happens between them. That is the essence of art therapy. So if you look at coloring books, it is a, a book, right? A type of book. And it is a material like paper or pencil or paint, right? And so we cannot say that uh, one material, one thing can be a form of art therapy because as I said before, art therapy is what happens between an art therapist and a client and the work and the work that um, happens between those two people, right? Or, or within that group. So just like we cannot say uh, <laughs> pencil is not art therapy or just like we cannot say this ink is not therapy so we cannot really say books are a form of therapy or coloring books are a form of art therapy because we're really talking about therapy because art therapy is a combination of art and a therapy so there's the art making part there's a therapeutic art um, process and everything um, and the materials but also there is the therapy part as well so art and psychotherapy is combined when we talk about art therapy so when you are engaged in art therapy you are seeing an art therapist and you are really doing a form of therapy or you're really working towards some form of therapeutic goal and oftentimes that might be really working on um, your emotional well-being or mental well-being um, a lot of times we'll be working on depression or addressing anxiety or trauma um, a lot addiction a lot of things like that so when you do art therapy um, within a session the art therapist is actually really thinking and planning um, and evaluating um, things like what kind of material fits you the best because each art material and each directive and each structure really um, the setup of the session as well will really um, fit you will be really therapeutic for you in that moment in that situation so everything is kind of really tailored to you and um, all the the psychological effect emotional effect of a material of the directive of the structure is considered and always weighed in the decision making process <laughs> when an art therapist is helping a person a client so to give you a little bit of example like an art therapist when they're working with a client who is dealing with anxiety um, the art therapist is thinking about what material re would really help this person with an anxiety um, so is color pencils the best? Is watercolor the best? Is clay the best? Really depends on the person themselves, the client, their history, their preference, and their also what they're dealing with. So the anxiety um, and how that manifests in their life, in their behavior. And so these things are all considered within an art therapy session. So I want to share some of the awesome things about art therapy and some of the reasons why you might go for art therapy instead of coloring books. And so sometimes actually coloring books are not a fit for everyone really. Um, I have found that some people really get stressed out <laughs> when they use coloring books and um, this is because it's just really hard for them to color within lines or that gives them anxiety that just really stress them out so if that's the case i really recommend that you try art therapy instead because art therapy it really encompasses says so many diverse materials so many different types of structures and um, activities and directives and the art therapist knows what really fits you the best as i said before so if you feel like you have blocks and if you feel like you have some anxiety around art making or um, you are not feeling confident about it or you're feeling really really resistant about art making the art therapist knows like what will help you overcome that resistance with ease so whatever what materials what structure what kind of exercise or directive will help you go through that they will know and they will provide that for you 
The other thing about art therapy is that it really doesn't require any skills or special background or experience in art making. So a lot of times um, when people hear about art therapy, they worry that they don't have the skills or they don't, they're not creative or artistic um, enough to participate in art therapy or benefit from it. But that's actually not true. Um, art therapy is really is open to all skill levels, all kinds of people with all kinds of backgrounds. I have worked with children who are two or three years old. And also I have worked with um, adults who are bed bound or you, who couldn't even use their hands. And so art therapy can actually happen in so many different ways and it really is open to all levels and all um, all people really. So that's what's awesome about art therapy. And the other thing about art therapy is that you actually work with an art therapist. So there's someone there who can really provide that space and structure for you to create. And this is so important because sometimes when you make art on your own, there might be things that come up in your art and you might have some really intense reactions or really maybe um, reactions that are very like surprising to you or bewildering to you um, and or maybe overwhelming to you and you, you're not sure how to deal with that and maybe it feels worse after you make art. And so that's not uncommon because art is so powerful in that way. It can really allow us to express our emotions and so when we do meet our emotions on paper or whatever surface you were working on, um, it might feel like, oh, this is uncomfortable or this is overwhelming. Um, but the awesome thing about art therapy is that you have the support of an art therapist and who can guide you and support you and help you process anything that's coming up in the artwork and anything that that's coming up within you as well like any thoughts or emotions that are um, coming up that might be bothering you so um, I feel like it's so important to process whatever happens after during and after the art making itself too and that always happens in art therapies and the last thing that might be a reason you would want to choose art therapy instead of coloring books is that it is so much more uh, liberating it really allows um, you to expand your creative expression expand that range of expression um, that you can do with art materials and in a visual way and um, that is because art therapy is not just one thing like color and build is just one tool right one material um, but within art therapy like you can use like so many different materials so many different mediums like sometimes people don't think like photography is a form of art therapy and so sometimes we use sand, sometimes we use clay, sometimes we use natural materials, junk materials, just paper or like a lot of fabric or fiber. And even digital art making it can be used within art therapy as well. So um, art therapy really encompasses so many different um, range of materials and mediums. And so it really helps you to, if you have been really used to just doing one medium and just being stuck in that medium, it, art therapy can really help you to expand your medium um, or expand your expression because really mediums or materials really stand for our emotional ability, our ability to express ourselves. So the more wide range of materials that we can use, the wider um, our range of expression can be and so you know I always hear a lot of times clients saying that you know art therapy has been so liberating for them um, it, it's just a so much different way of making art and they get to a lot of times clients get to use things that are new for them and really they get to expand their expression through that use that wide variety of art material that they use. So that's one thing that I think is such a 
great benefit about our therapy as well so that's all for today um i want to ask you if you have any questions about our therapy or you if you are curious about certain aspects of our therapy let me know in the comments below and i will be really happy to answer your questions um, in any future video that i make so thank you so much for watching this video if you really liked it please like or thumbs up this video and you can also subscribe to my channel to watch more eye therapy videos so thank you so much for watching again i will see you next time bye